Hey everyone, I'm Donovan. Uh, today on Learn From Home, we're going to be drawing some of the essential workers, uh, like nurses and doctors, who have to go out while uh, non-essential workers like myself are able to work from home and kind of stay safe. So I'll show how to draw this drawing right here and kind of go step by step on how I did this. One of the first things I like to do whenever um, drawing something is I like to look up some reference. So just a quick search to get an idea of kind of what you're drawing. Next is uh, take either drawing mannequins or action figures. You can use toys for this too. And just kind of pose them in a pose that you'd like to draw. Uh, this can help if you're not using a specific photo reference. All right, so let's get started. So again, I'm going to try to draw a nurse and a doctor. So first I'm going to start with kind of their, I'm going to try to do two people at once. So we're going to start with their kind of back, their spine shapes. We're going to do the classic buddy-buddy uh, pose where they're two backs up against each other and they're all, uh, they're all friendly and such. <laughs> so there we have the spines and the sternum, or not sternum, but the, uh, their collarbones. And then we'll draw quick shapes for their hips. Actually, let's make this one a pinch shorter than this other one. There we go. Let's see, then we'll do some classic crossed arms. And again, I'm referring kind of back to my my two figures over here to kind of get their poses right. And some crossed arms. Some bottom part of the arm. And then the other one will cross under that one. And this one will do the same thing. There for the cross, and then we'll draw in kind of the shape for their hip. I don't think I'll do legs on this one. They'll just kind of be busts, which means kind of from the uh, from the torso up. So then I'm drawing in the head shape. We want this head shape to kind of this will be. We want our head to kind of tilt up. So we'll draw in kind of this middle plane for the the eyes, and then um, that kind of shows that kind of her head is lifted up whenever I draw in the rest. And for this guy, we'll draw in his head. Kind of a similar shape. His head will be tilted down a little bit. So that's kind of going to be his eye line, and that's kind of the center of his face. We can well, I'll erase all that later once we get the details in there. So now we'll draw on his chest with this circle and hers. All right, then we just need kind of some arms, which we'll do these real quick. Similar to the last one, these are going to be some, some pretty buff nurses and doctors right now. <laughs> We'll do some overlap on her so she will come in front of him a little bit. And this will be her uh, forearm and then her other forearm. All right. I like kind of, it's good to take a step back for a minute and look at the proportions and see if everything kind of lines up the way you want it to, which this does. So I'm going to keep going, drawing in her neck. There and oops, I almost forgot the hands. So let's see which one of these is going to go on top. Kind of referring back to my model here. We'll put this one on top. So that means that we won't see what's behind it right there. So we can erase. And we'll put her hand kind of right there. And this other hand will go under this arm. So that arm will still come in front right there. It's 
funny because I'm often telling artists to not uh, to not avoid drawing hands, and here I am hiding the hands. Come on, Donovan. <laughs> so we'll draw his neck and his arms for him. It's going to be this arm that goes on top. So we'll draw this forearm down here. And then his other forearm here. And it's good to kind of go back and forth and kind of draw both sides of the body kind of at the same time because sometimes if you draw one side of the body first uh, and then you draw the other side of the body, what sometimes can happen is you end up kind of looking lopsided. So if you draw them both at the same time, you kind of get more of a balance. So then we'll come down here and connect the dots. All right, so now we can start to erase some of these lines that are in here. So we can kind of make more sense of the drawing. His chest over there. He's right there. We'll erase some of her lines as well. Kind of get rid of our initial stick figure that we started with. All right. Hmm. So now I guess we'll start to give these two facial um, expressions and details on their face. So we'll draw in this guy's chin up to his ear. Like that. We'll give him some hair. And that'll come right there. We'll have some pretty short hair. And for her, let's see. It's also good to look at reference for uh, people's, you know, hairstyles because, you know, otherwise you just end up drawing the same thing over and over again. Uh, so, so it looks like I put her eyes up a little too high on her head. So we'll move that eye line down a little bit and then draw her in her ear. Let's see, what type of hairstyle does she have? I'm going to give her a ponytail, actually kind of a bun, I think. We'll do a bun right there. Then she's got a little hair that comes in front, kind of loops over there. It's also fun to kind of take some reference from the people that you know. And if you know people who have certain hairstyles or wear certain types of clothes, you can kind of help incorporate that into the drawings that you make. All right, let's see. So this will be our nurse. We'll go ahead and draw his center line right there. And kind of the V-neck of his scrub right there. Give him a little bit of a collar. Bring that down. Bring, bring that down. Kind of give some definition to the arm. It looks like that'll be the sleeve right there. And the sleeve over here. Kind of draw that a little bit past the arm and then kind of loop this back in. Okay. That's a scrub sleeve. And then we have his elbow. Give that a little bit more definition. Give the elbow over here a little bit more definition. Do the arm. And then he's tucking his hand away down there. Actually, we're going to make him wear some gloves because it's always good to be safe. And give him some gloves over here too, even though you can't really see that hand too much. All right, so now we'll start to erase some of these things we don't need in here, like his original stick figure. And we'll just go ahead and drag the lines for these things down here and kind of give him a shirt tail to the bottom of his scrub shirt in front of that. And then we'll erase the rest of his collarbone that we started with over here. 
All right. Let's see, so we've done a lot on him, but not as much on our doctor. Let's see. So draw the bottom of her uh, scrub shirt there. And get rid of this so we can have some room to draw in some details. So now we'll come down here and give her a similar type of v-neck for her scrub shirt. I don't know if this shirt of a scrub has like a <laughs> a specific name or not. If it does, feel free to let me know in the comments. Let's see, maybe it's just the top and the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, and then, since she's a doctor, we'll go ahead and actually draw a little bit of the collarbone in there, we'll put a collarbone in him as well. Um, we'll go ahead and give her like a, like a doctor's coat over top of all this. We'll erase that, and then this part of her coat will come over here. Kind of the lapels of it go there, and then I'll just kind of draw through this and then make that come down here. I always like to draw through shapes like this just to kind of make sure that my line is good and kind of solid because I know that I can go back and erase it later. Put that down there. So now we won't need this line anymore. We can erase that, erase this. So then she has to have her, now that we have her coat on, we have to put the sleeves of that coat down here. And then we'll also still give her some gloves right there. And same thing over here, put the sleeve in, and then the gloves right there. And then erase what we don't need again. When you're drawing clothes, it's always really good to have a reference because, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to memorize how the folds of clothing work. So, I, I mean, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, but it's always good to kind of take a step back and take your time and actually look at the way clothes actually fold on a human body so you can make your thing a little bit more accurate. Right. So, get rid of this because I was going to have her have a sleep, now she doesn't. And finish up the side of her chest. All right, so now these people need faces, faces. I'm gonna go back and look a little bit more at my reference. All right. Something that, you know, this pencil's getting a little dull. Let me sharpen that. There we go. Oh. There we go. Something that's, I find really difficult and drawing is um, kind of drawing the nose because really the nose is where it's in the center of the face and it's where a lot of the character comes from when you're drawing someone and oftentimes you can get you're drawing someone very specific which I'm not doing right now but if you're trying to draw like a friend or a family member if you get their nose correct kind of the rest of it comes through so it's good to take I like to start there and kind of see you know, what the nose will define of the character that I'm making. Let's see. Actually, since her head is tilted up, her eye line, uh, the eye line normally falls to the top of the ear. So that means that we need to move her ears down a little bit because this is the eye line now. Let's see. Draw one side of her eye, draw the other side, give her some eyebrows. <laughs> draw the eyelid, other eyelid, and last her eyes. I'm going to erase some of the chin a little bit. It seems to be a little too short. 
make it a little bit more round too. Give her a smile. It's a bottom lip and a top lip there. So I get rid of some of that. Erase part of this. Hmm. Sometimes you have to draw something a couple of times to get it the way that you want it to look. It's kind of good to keep in mind that like over here I have her eye, or I have the mouth kind of coming to this part of her eye, so you have to kind of do that on the same side as the other side, otherwise it won't be balanced. Okay. And then her other nostril over here. Right, and then finish off the ear. And now let's pop over to our nurse. Uh, let's see. Give him a nose and his eyebrow. That eye's a little too big for him. Now we'll erase the middle part. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's get to coloring. I recently got this color set. It's got like so many things in it. So, I don't know. We'll see if any of these work out. They're like these brush pen things. I don't know. Uh, Tamant dual pens. So this seems like kind of a, I don't know, scrub type color. Whenever, it doesn't really matter what type of material you work with, it's always good to kind of test it out on the side first to see how it kind of draws and kind of what the texture of it is. Because otherwise something might be too dark or too light and that kind of can end up throwing you off in the end. So let's start with him and we'll just kind of outline him a little bit. I mean, depending on if you're wearing about, you know, lighting, sometimes you don't want to outline the whole character like this, but since we're not doing that, we're just kind of drawing a simple form that doesn't matter as much. So, get the, I like this color a lot. It's a nice kind of a teal green. These things don't really have the color names on them like many other things do but still like them quite a lot. Hmm. All right, so now we'll start coloring him in. Let's see if this is bleeding through too. Sometimes whenever you color in a character, it bleeds through to the other side, and this seems to be okay. You can see a little bit coming through there, but it's not too bad. So we'll keep on coloring. And again, like last time, remember, we kind of want to leave some white space around here just in case um, it kind of gives a good outline to the character because whenever I come back in here on the other side, since these are both the same color, it's sometimes nice to keep a little line there of like white space so you can see the line that I put there originally. I really like the texture of these. They're uh, fun to work with. Also, sometimes, kind of a fun trick, if you leave a little area like this open and white, it kind of can look like a highlight. So we can do that too, a little bit. Kind of do the same over here. I mean, Scrubs aren't really that shiny, but eh, 
who knows? <laughs> These again are superheroes, so maybe they've got special shiny superhero scrubs. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go along. Uh, let's see. I leave a similar line there for him. Leave that line. Okay. Hmm. I should, probably should have left that line in this part too, but I think we'll just go over this for now, kind of as is. Oops. Looks like I went out of the lines a little bit, but it's all right to color out the lines every now and again. Um, I'm going to take this black marker real quick. Let's kind of go over this shape so it kind of stays there. Normally you'd kind of want to wait till this dries a little bit more before doing that, but it's okay. Now this one might bleed through a little bit. Let's double check that out. Nope, it's okay. Hmm. Guess I'm getting lucky. I think the more you add it up, like the more kind of layers you add to your paper of a wet media, like, you know, marker or paint or watercolor, um, your paper will start to get thinner. And you can kind of see here, I don't know if you can tell, but the paper's kind of getting a little crinkly. So um, you kind of have to be a little careful if you're not using paper that's specifically made for um, watercolor or marker or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Gives her the same green that we gave him. <clears throat> And then add that green around here. This time I am being pretty careful since I really want to keep her kind of doctor's coat white. I don't want to get any green in there. <clears throat> All right. Color around the outline of that. Okay, then color in the bottom of her scrub, shirt, and her pants, just a little bit. Okay, so let's see if I can get a different kind of light blue color for their mask. Actually, I didn't finish doing her eye yet. Let me back up. I was saying before that, um, you know, it's good to use these thinner ones on kind of detailed areas so you don't end up getting it too messy. We have heard the same kind of eye reflection that he has. <clears throat> okay. We have her black hair as well. It's kind of nice to use this smaller detailed brush or the smaller detailed pen on her hair because it kind of gives the illusion of um, you know strands of hair which is nice and now we're doing the same technique that we did on uh, on the guy's um, <clears throat> shoulders where we can kind of we leave a little space in there it can kind of almost look like a, a glimmer or a shine Just going in her hair. We'll do a little bit more of that right here in the front. And then just color in the remainder of the back of her hair. All right, so now we want to go in with this different color blue and we'll do their mask. Ah, there we go. It's like I said, it's always good to, before you start coloring with something, you should really test out the color on the side to see what it's going to look like. And 
This one looks almost exactly like I wanted it to, which is nice and kind of rare. Uh, and then I'm kind of extending this out a little bit so I don't kind of color over that since that's newly wet. If I did that, then it might smudge. <clears throat> Okay, but there's his mask. And now we're pretty much done. All we have to do is kind of go back in and do our very last step, which is erasing all the kind of previous scratch marks that we made when we were sketching. Let's see, get around the arm. And I always kind of like doing a really light um, circular motion whenever I erase. That way you don't end up tearing the paper. Sometimes you gotta get in there and go a little tougher, but it's nice to kind of, since you already have the <clears throat> the black lines here, you can go pretty pretty light with the circling and just kind of go over it a couple of times. It should get rid of all the stray marks. All right, and we actually we're almost done. <laughs> Let's just color in her eyebrow. Now we are done. And we can sign the work. All right. Thanks, everyone. And um, again, let, feel free to let me know in the comments what you'd like me to draw next. Well, that's it. Um, feel free to watch the video as many times as you need if you want to follow along. I would love, love to see any drawings that you or your, your kids or your family members or your friends end up doing of this if you happen to follow along. So go ahead and either tag us in those or uh, leave those in the comments. All right, thanks. Bye.